crayons. These are Lyra Aquacolor crayons, and they work with encaustic. It's not Crayola <laughs> by any means. So, and there's lots and lots of colors in this particular set. There's, what are there? 48 crayons. So you can use crayons like so on encaustic. Again, it's another way to make some changes without heating up a bunch of paint if you want, or to simply add lines that don't require incising. Uh, you can add some colors that maybe you wouldn't normally use or you wouldn't have in your heated paint in a way that's a little different. You know, we used to think about this as being scribbling. Now it's got a high class name. Now it's called mark making, which just makes me kind of laugh every time I hear it. Just for the sake of showing you what can happen, I'll take the torch and we'll just explode things. Down enough that I can scratch on it a little bit and scrape on it a little bit. If it gets too set up, then you can't scrape as well. You can scrape, but it's tough. So scraping is a very, very valuable process and you shouldn't be afraid to scrape and scrape heartily. It also shows the importance of having a number of colors applied to begin with. What I do with workshop students is say, choose three colors, cold color, warm color, and another color, and black and white. That's what you start with. If you, because there's, you know, the encaustic colors are pretty tempting and people generally want to just use as many as they can. And then you've got, it's too easy to get mud then to make mud but if you have a few and you have warm and cold colors, you really have all the options you need, certainly to start with. It gives you a basis. So this is getting kind of interesting here and certainly things that I didn't expect to find, like these little red dots down in here. Um, I don't remember putting red down, but obviously I did. So now what? Now what do you do? Well, if you want to try and out, let's see what happens quickly. We'll turn on the heat gun again. And look at saving quite a few of these excavations. Because they don't look too bad. They're sort of balanced. Incidentally, I get the Awatani torch from Amazon, and that seems to be the only place to get them on a de dependably. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a while. 